Hi everyone, welcome! This is a new episode of our mini, mini sequence, sequence and three steps. steps. This is Sayaka and Yosha. And, and we are happy to have you here with us. Yes! Today, we have prepared something that we call back cross into a dynamic hero. And it has a lot of movements inside that are kind of new and we think that you have not done them yet. So pay close attention, we show it to you one time and then we go into the three steps to tell you how it goes. Enjoy! Let's go! And now we show you how it really goes. A little bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> I admit. We start simple with what? step number one. Looks like this. Yes. As you can see, this is a version of an ocho cortado, which you probably know as a basic step. So it's a little bit different, modified version, but it is based on that. What's important for the for the proposes? Um, yeah, let me remove that hair. <laughs> I'm starting in the same way like I would start into an ocho cortado. So it's a rebound forward for me and a rebound backward for her. And I leave her a little bit on my right side with slight dissociation, yes? And then when we come back, I leave her in a diagonal, but I focus in not turning her, that she's not doing a pivot. So I bring her back and while she crosses, I cross my left foot in the back. Then I lead her to my side and close my feet. So the second part is like the second part of what many call ocho cortado. But later on you will not even do that, so focus on the first part of it. You show it from this angle. Rebound, cross. Rebound, cross. And continue. Good. Good. For the interpreters. For us, interpreters. It's the same rebound. Make sure your axis goes on top of the ball of the foot, of the back foot. And when we cross in the back, I show it from here, it's try to think the feet more parallel than turn out. We don't want this because from here it's hard to move. So try so, I'm sorry, <laughs> to have them <laughs> to, to have them very close. So it means like a, almost an inward rotation from the back foot. So we have to rebound, cross, and from here also the right foot is having the weight now. So make sure you're on the right foot, on the ball of the right foot, and from here we push. It's a side rebound. Into and a into a cross again and yes. from here we continue okay so make sure your axe is staying on top not leaning forward or backward and use the ball of the feet to continue coccyx down very good all right a little summary of step number one proposes have your left side present and keep it present so you accompany her when crossing backwards. 
When this works, at the same time you try to cross in the back while she crosses in her back. All right? Then you send her to your side with a lot of dissociation, strong center because we don't want to pivot. I put my foot here and bring her back to the cross and close. This in itself is already a cool step, so you can repeat it as much as you wish. Interpreters. Try to have the hips on the same level in the rebound and also on the cross. You try not to go up or down. In the cross, have your knees slightly bent and make them fit behind each other. I think knee to knee. And the feet are slightly, especially the back foot, things more turn inward and outward. Make sure your axis is always staying on top of the ball of the feet to find the ground. All right. Let's continue. Step number two. Looks like this. I repeat step number one <laughs> so you are not aware. Oh, I forgot we showed step number two already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are here. And then it's just one movement. For the proposals, what do I do? First, look at me just alone without <laughs> Sayak. <gasps> I come from this moment, wait, I do it like this. I come from this moment where I'm crossed in the back. My weight is clearly on the ball of the foot of, foot of the back leg. Then, I have my embrace here, and without moving my embrace too much, I turn my lower body, base leg, and project my right leg around her foot, and bring it back again. It's this and that. And if you create this power in your center, it will already lead to, the, uh, to a good proposal for her, so she feels the movement of the pivot. Sayaka, we need I'm you. I'm back, I'm back. For oh, the interpreters. For the interpreters. We start from this position. Yes, this is the end of uh, step number one, till the cross, and here we have a pivot. In this pivot, look at my free leg. It's the front cross leg. It's uncrossing and going into a pivot. Yes? Don't keep it crossed. The moment I feel the pivot, I'm taking it out. But I'm not lifting my hips, so make sure the hip of your free leg is down. My upper body is towards my partner. Alright, so the first movement after the cross, I feel the dissociation and I still want to continue with my partner. Proxy is down. So, other direction. Go into a para, which means we feel the stop, I'm in the pivot, I'm coming back, and here I go over him. So I take the leg up, I cross it over, and then through the standing leg, right is the standing leg, I sink into it to really make a control step from my basic leg, from the back leg. Okay? Alright. Let's have a summary. Summary for step number two. Proposals. Proposals. Move from your base. Move from your you base. You use your back foot and project the right foot around her. Your upper body stays with her, but your base leg leg is rotating outwards. Then you come back to a parada position. Yes? Make sure that you have both feet firmly on the ground so that when you move your free leg you feel how active your center needs to work. Because like this you show her the proposal for the turn. Interpreters. From the back cross we feel, I'm good, thank okay. you. <laughs> we 
just offer. feel the proposal <laughs> for in backwards pivot. Take out the free leg first to pivot to not be in the way anymore on the cross and to be able to do anything else after that. Upper body towards my partner. After that, we have a turn back. Make sure you arrive in your axis, not leaning forward. Axis to lift one leg, sink into your standing leg to then make a step around your partner. Okay. Yeah, we continue. Last but not least, we step arrive. Step number three. Good. Step number three combines one and two and, and three is something else. Yes, and three. But I'm saying that because step number one and two had both parts that we are not doing anymore. So we are combining parts of step one, part of step two, and then adding step number three. Look at this. already quite dynamic so we need to understand first the steps and I will show you that and then we need to be able to control them I will show you that <laughs> let's see okay proposals, proposals. Ding, ding, time. here step number two we reach around her leg and now I lead her through her base to a backward step. So her steps will be back side forward and I do transfer of weight, cross in the back with her forward step and side step around her to continue moving. Let's do it one more time in this angle. Send her cross, move around, continue. When you send her around, you will feel that she's already starting to move. So concentrate also in your projection that you have. Transfer the weight and opening to your left side while crossing in the back. The cross in the back can produce a little bit of a turn in your base leg which is not bad in this case, because she needs some space. Then you go around. Good. Very good. Interpreted. This is half a turn for us after the cross. So we have the cross, we have the pivot from step number two, and here I feel at the same time He's going around me and sending me towards the other direction. So it's like a two directions that's happening. My partner moving there, me moving there. Make sure for the back step you have your base leg very, very connected to the ground and active so we don't fall. Yes. And then for the Side step, make sure you arrive in your axis, make sure you're not leaning forward anymore. I personally use the hand of my partner as a reference point. Let me see the hand like this. Let's move this, this one. This one. Okay. So we here. We go in the back and here. This hand is what I'm using as a reference. So I'm not here. I try to open my back a little bit, so it's a little bit of centrifugal force. That'd be a tiny, tiny bit. And front. And I arrive. Yes? Very good. Also, for both of you, that is technique for both, um, make sure you stay connected in the frame. The frame should not move too much around in the hands. Yes? You stay connected to both sides of the frame. Don't let any part like be wobbly, but also not stick. Yes, not in yeah? the shoulders. It's, it's powerful lower. in the center, center into your hands. Summary. Summary, step number three.
Proposals. From the position that you are here, after step number two, you transfer the weight in a round fashion, send her to a back step and further around, cross in the back and do a side step. Every movement in this case is in a turn that you go counterclockwise. So your pelvis is going in this direction and at the same time your upper body is opening to the left then your leg crosses and again you have a side step with going around her. Interpreters. We have after the back cross you have the back step connect to his right hand to the hand you feel on your back do a side step and a front step. The steps are not huge. It's important to stay in the frame in the upper body and adapt your step size to that. Yes, make sure you arrive to axis. I make sure from here we go and it's back, side, front. So you see it's not too much movement, but always make sure you're going on top of your base leg. So you're in axis. Okay. Good. We show it two more times and we also show you the rhythm timing. Too. Ready? We hope you did it till here. And we hope you have fun. Look. Ding, ding, tan. And tan, tan, tan. Ba, continue. It's quite rhythmical. So keep this rhythm if you want. Ding, ding, tan. And tan, tan, ton. Ding, clock. 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 <laughs> All right? This is the step and you see it's quite dynamic going around each other. Maybe we do it the last time really, really slow yes. because we haven't done that yet. And continue. Congratulations, you heard Yosha's slow motion voice for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really work so well. It wasn't he that loved slow. He doing that. Um, if you manage the control of the slow movement, find your own rhythms. Rewind back to step number two and you have a cool movement of a nice turn out and into a parada that you can even repeat according to how you listen to the music. And we went back to step number one. We have a very cool variation of the Ocho Alright, we hope you enjoyed this. Leave us a comment, click subscribe for the upcoming videos. And a like if you liked it. Definitely. And of course share it if you want to share this movement with any of your friends. And let us know if you're interested in anything coming up in the future we can adapt any movement to your topic of your choice. Also feel free to donate, you have the links under the video. We are still in this very difficult situation and moment as you all know, so we are very thankful for everything and um, thank you very much. Have a good day, enjoy See dancing, see you soon, bye! bye.